Well, hey folks, and welcome back to Trawick Made. Today we're gonna to be making the chocolate bunk cake. And this is a recipe that is in the Ronald McDonald House. The icing is from the 1996 Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. Here we go. Whose bunk pan is that? No. Sometimes it's not just about the recipe, it's about the story behind the recipe. And this chocolate bunt cake comes to us from the Hearts Behind the Houses cookbook from Ronald McDonald. And how it came about was when my sweet Bonnie, we were planning her funeral and sitting out there on the front porch and his older sister Debbie showed up with food from her coworkers for the family to eat dinner that night. And that chocolate bunt cake, uh, we had gone into the kitchen and everybody had a little slice and before you know it, that cake was gone. Papa and myself talked about that cake for a really long time and the weeks that followed, we just searched for different chocolate cake recipes because we wanted to have it again. And when we were filming this, chocolate bunt cake. Um, of course, you see me with vertical and horizontal filming. So this video was done quite a while ago and I just now got the courage up to try and edit it. Uh, yeah, in 2021. But it brings back um, so many, a flood of memories. That was so funny when Bubba called earlier and wanted to know if he could stay with us for the whole month of November. I know after first trying this cake out, it didn't last very long in the house. And I can remember that you started searching for a recipe so you can make it again. We brought your mama's bunt pan and never took it back. Nope. What kind of chocolate chips did you put in? Uh, mini. How long do you have to bake it for? Um, an hour. I can remember when you first made this cake that you did a chocolate icing on it and that's actually in the other cookbook. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit right there so can see that deliciousness. All right, Bubba, and this is how you put the batter in the pan. Do you have any secret tips you want to share, Papa? Yeah. Use a lighter bowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing you're nice and strong.
All right, Bubba, we've brought to you Nana's chocolate bundt cake. What you tapping it for? I'm just gonna roll it up. Okay, that's it. We're ready. Well, hey there. Papa's really outdoing himself today. He is making two cakes. That's right, you heard it, two. Through the magic of editing, we're going to speed up the process of prep on chocolate cake number two. This one is going to his brother. I think when Bobo comes down here, then we're gonna make two more cakes. What? Yeah. Well, you might get one piece. <laughs> you might. Well, you might get one piece. Oh, I might get one piece, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Here's the flip. I just love it when Papa's cakes come out so beautifully. It's not always about the exact recipe or what's in it. Sometimes it's just about who you're baking with in the kitchen, who you're sharing your cake with. Your chocolate bunt cake recipe can come from anyone. Your favorite baker, your next door neighbor, your coworker. It doesn't matter who it came from. It's how you baked it. And here we're using the chocolate devil's food cake icing from page 14 in the America's Best Loved Community Cookbook Recipe Desserts by Better Homes and Garden. Yeah, that was a mouthful. But hey, I love reading cookbooks on my lunch break. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't have a lunch break anymore. <laughs> Once again, you outdid yourself. Looks nice. <clears throat>
It happens, honey. Let me tell you. Um, what just happened? Why did it start over? Where am I talking at? Is this edit button even working?